Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, in conjunction, in collaboration with Guitar World Magazine, this is a review of a Burroughs Auditorium style acoustic guitar. Now, when I got this guitar, I didn't realize that this guitar actually sells for $159. <gasps> $159. I think when I got my first guitar back in like the early 80s, it was more than that. But you heard it on the song at the beginning of the video. It sounds good at twice that price or maybe three times that price. That's my honest assessment. I'm not blowing smoke. So here's the guitar. It's the Burroughs B30 Ascent model. And I guess their goal is to bring musicians, you know, guitars, ukuleles and whatnot at reasonable prices that are quite high quality and well made. So this guitar has some really, really cool features for the money, I will say. It, it's a spruce top and mahogany back and sides, but they don't claim on their website that they're solid. So I'm gonna assume they're not. The fingerboard is made out of something called tech wood. So I assume it's maybe some sort of composite, but it looks a heck of a lot like rosewood. Now the guitar features some really, really nice touches. Like for example, sealed tuners, that's a nice touch. Most of the tuners you find on inexpensive guitars like this will be like open gear kind of. These are sealed uh, 15 to one ratio tuners and they work really well. The auditorium body style is a little smaller than like, let's say a dreadnought or something. So that's really nice, you know, as far as like for kids or, you know, if you're just smaller in stature, I mean, for a first guitar, certainly for kids, easier to get around. The nut and the saddle actually come from Graph Tech and the saddle's intonation compensated. The material is called New Bone. And I will say the nut is cut quite well for a guitar, especially at this price. They designed the headstock specifically to have a relatively straight string pull. So that helps with tuning. And if we take a look on the inside of the guitar, I mean, the construction, it's a it's a standard kind of traditional x bracing i don't see any kind of big glue blobs or any of that kind of stuff that you would generally find on inexpensive guitars at least back when i started playing for sure the guitar ships with the dario coated strings and it's got a pickup and preamp system built in with a tuner and a phase switch you've even got a battery compartment down here for a nine volt battery it's super easy to swap out that's a nice touch that i don't have on some of my expensive acoustics with nice pickup preamp systems i still have to loosen the strings and then you got to reach in the sound hole and get the nine volt out of there when it's time to change now how does it play in sound i think it sounds really darn good especially once again considering it's 159 dollars <laughs> I'm gonna solo some of those parts from the track at the beginning of the video outside the mix so you can clearly hear what it sounds like on a microphone. I used very little EQ, just a little bit of reverb, a little bit of EQ to clean things up. So let's listen to the pickup, let's listen to the guitar on the microphone, and I'll see you on the other side. preamp system is basic but it sounds decent you got some room there to shape the bass middle and treble with the three band eq and with that phase flip switch and whatnot it's pretty good did i miss anything else open pour finish it's not sticky you know the neck is really smooth on the back because of the uh, the kind of satin open pour finish it's just a real solid guitar especially when once again we factor in that 159 price point <laughs> As the neck shape goes, the guitar is really quite comfortable. I mean, I find it easy to get around on, play some, you know. It's 
got a fast playing neck and the action's quite low the way that I've got the truss rod adjusted right now. I would classify this neck as being sort of on the narrow side, it's not real wide and flat. I've got a larvae, for instance, the neck is wider than this, and, and this has a little bit more of, of a C shape, and I would say for sure it's a one and five eighths, or probably close to that width. So this guitar should be real comfortable, I would say, in like medium to smaller hands. Easy action, easy playability, sounds good, tunes up great, lots of really nice features. You can check it out further at the link down there in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to all the info you could ever want to know about this Burroughs B30 acoustic guitar. Thanks Burroughs, making a nice instrument at a nice price point, uh, thanks to Guitar World Magazine. Please hit subscribe and hit the little bell beside the subscribe if you wouldn't mind. You'll get an alert every time I put out a new video. Take care you guys, over and out, I'm B Thorne.